Hello there friends and welcome back to the town of Mirkwood here in Animal Crossing City Folk. It looks like things might be a little happier in town today. Uh, even though we've got a cloudy sky above us, we're hoping for some rain in a little while. We'll see if it gets here or not. Uh, we're gonna look around and see if we have a visitor today. It's been a couple days since somebody's been here, so I'm really hoping we find someone. And we're just gonna have a fun day here in Mirkwood. <laughs> so let's get going. Punchy, what are you so happy about, friends? I was waiting for you to come outside and play, big sis. Your house even has a room in the basement, Moon Eyes. That's like my life dream. I bet you catch some great AZs down there, even if it's super bright outside. Oh, that's true. Didn't think about that, but <laughs> uh, we could. Okay, so we do have some flowers that need to be watered, but we're kind of going to give it a little while and see if this cloudy sky brings us some rain in the next hour. Uh, we're going to... Oh, wait. Is Peaches still here, or did somebody else move in? Peaches was in boxes yesterday. This is still her house. I wonder if she's waiting for some of the other uh, characters to say goodbye. Let's just check in with her, because we did see her in boxes yesterday. She's still in boxes. <laughs> I hope that we meet again someday somewhere, Starry Eyes. Okay, well, I don't know uh, what what the holdup is here, Peaches. Most, most of them don't take two days to move out. That's kind of interesting. All right, first thing we need to do, though, is go change Sunny's outfit. Uh, she was wearing this one yesterday, so it's time to sell it. We got it out of her storage. We're going to go find another outfit that we can <laughs> sell after wearing. Let's see here. We moved some stuff around, got rid of a lot yesterday. So we're going to look for one of the shirts that, um, let's see. You know what? Maybe we'll go with this, this combo today. <laughs> let's see what it looks like. Oh, let's see what it looks like behind this lamp. All right. So that's pretty cute, right? Actually, I kind of want to keep that tartan. There's another shirt that I think we can put with this um, that I wouldn't mind selling afterward. Let's see if we can find it. I think those were all Gracie Grace ones. Uh, I think it's called like the classic top or something. Work uniform, New Year. So we do have some space in our storage now. We didn't organize it very well, but we did uh, get some stuff cleared out. Oh, and maybe we already sold that other shirt. Okay, well, we'll wear the tartan today. That's pretty cute. It's not exactly purple, but pink and blue kind of makes purple, doesn't it? <laughs> That's our story, and we're sticking to it. Sunny's going to be a little fancy today in her hat. Okay. Very cute. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go over here and... Oh, we might as well check the rocks while we're walking by. And uh, hopefully we've got a visitor in town today. We haven't had one the past two days. We're due. <laughs> I would love to see Wendell. Uh, or Sahara at this point, since we want to get that Meadow Vista wall for Kara's house. We wouldn't mind seeing Sahara either. Well, let's check in with old Tom Nook first and buy up all the items so we can get the points. So we can get closer to buying that Majora's Mask that we're looking at in the point system over there. All right, let's see. We want to sell the cherry shirt and the badge hats. 130 bells. That's not very much, Tom Nook. All right, what do we have for sale today? Ooh, is this an exotic chair? Yes, it is. I don't know if we have that catalog, to be honest. And the classic bed either. I wonder if the more stuff you buy, kind of the more stuff it unlocks. Because I don't... I don't think I've ever seen this blue golf bag here before either. So, very interesting. <laughs> uh, we might as well buy the walls and floors too. That'll give us a few points. Planked tatami. But everything else is kind of um, not worth enough to worry about too much, uh, spending the time on it. So, we're going to get those and sell them back to Tom Nook because we don't need any of those right now. We've got all the furniture we need in our house except for one coffee table that we can't buy. So, have to either keep what we got or hope somebody else can find it. <laughs> all right. 
Let's see here. Visitor points plus three. All right. Should we buy this axe too? Did we lose our axe yesterday to Serena? She kept it, didn't she? Yeah. Let's go ahead and buy this one. We can try again for a gold axe today. It's one of those things. <laughs> We've been war Well, we haven't been trying for it for a whole year because we didn't have the fountain right away. But we have been trying it since we got that fountain. Oh, Serena's just holding out on us. This <laughs> is not giving it up. All right. Well, if we're not going to start out watering the flowers, I guess we can start out ooh, by digging up some stuff. I was going to say checking in on our villagers. Uh, they were having a time yesterday, man. There was some stuff going on. Fighting, <laughs> gossip. It was something. So hopefully everybody's a little more calm today. And, and having a nice day here. <laughs> All right. What do you got going on today, Bella? Big sis, you're just in time. Hiya, big sis. Guess what? I've been reading this book about old stuff and I'm totally into it. And not like bell-bottom pants old. I mean really old. Fossil old. Oh my gosh, fossils are so cool. I gotta have one now, right now, 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 now. You gotta get me one. If I don't get a fossil, I'll just like freak out. <laughs> okay, we'll get you a fossil. That's it, big sis. I knew I could totally count on you. Go you, give me a letter, yay. All right, well, doesn't seem like Bella's calmed down at all. <laughs> she's still, she's gonna freak out. She doesn't get a fossil, okay. Well, we've got one in our pocket, right? We just dug one up. Is that just, yeah, one, okay. And there might be some more up by the museum. Um, it's, it's fine if Sunny gets them assessed. She can still just leave them there for, uh, whoever can sell them later. Ooh, nice. I love it when it doubles that last bag. Benefits of the silver shovel. Very nice. Indeed. All right. That means we got an 8,000 instead of a 4,000. Which means we got 12,000 instead of 8,000 out of that rock. Nice. Lovely, lovely. Okay, let's go back here and check on Butch because I feel like we always forget Butch because he's back here in this little space that kind of leads to nowhere. <laughs> he just gets forgotten. Poor little Butch. No wonder he's cranky. We'll see what he's up to today. Has he rearranged his furniture into neat little rows? Uh, no, he's got his all around the edges. Well, that works too. Since when- oh, he's got a pineapple bed. Wait, is that the bed that we sent him when he was sick? I can't remember now. Hi there, big sis. I don't think so. I think we sent him like a blue bed or a yellow bed or something. Oh, it's nice to have you stop by. Well, we're glad he got one anyway. We tried to send him a bed when he was sick last time, but he never did put it out, I guess. So at least he's got a place to sleep now. I see a lot of our villagers are wearing the little the little elf suit that we designed today, which is kind of fun. I like seeing them wear that. We had to make an elf suit because, you know, it's Mirkwood. So Punchy's wearing it. Butch is wearing it. Was Bella wearing it? I, I missed that. Oh, look at that. We found a lucky clover, a four-leaf clover. Yay. That's so fun. I love finding those. And you can see Kara hasn't been over to pick up. Oh, we got a tool up out of place here. Um, Kara hasn't been out to pick up her stuff there yet. Let's see, any other flowers in the wrong place over here? Uh, was Melba home? Did we just pass Melba's house? No, she's not home. Okay, we already found the money rock, so we can go back to carrying our cute little balloon here. Let's see what Broccolo's up to today. Broccolo, where are you, little friend? Has he got his stuff rearranged? Oh no, he's still got his table in the center. I love how he has like this <laughs> classic uh, vanity or whatever even that is. I don't even know what that is. Hey, look, he's wearing the elf outfit too. <laughs> That's too funny. Welcome, big sis. It's good to see you. Um, what else you got to say, Broccolo? We'll come over here and talk to you so people can see you behind our big giant hat. Yowzers, I've just been so busy chilling. I forgot. Uh, I totally forgot that the bug off is tomorrow. I'm not ready yet. My net's got holes in it and my lucky shirt is dirty. Oh no, you better get doing some laundry and some repairs there. Oh, he's got a little rocking horse. Did we give him that? 
I think we might have given him that. Maybe that's why it wasn't in our storage. I know we sent him that teddy bear. I remember that part. <laughs> Can't remember everything though. All right, let's see here. We're just kind of walking around, looking for visitors, looking for fossils, checking things out today. See what's going on. We gotta get rid of this weed. All right, uh, we probably will pick up those other fossils and uh, look for one. Who who wanted it, Bella? <laughs> we'll we'll see if we can find a nice fossil for Bella. Oh, another gyroid. I bet this one was here yesterday and we just didn't get up here to see it. Okay, that's a mini physoid. Let's see if that's on the list of ones that we need. Mini physoid. Nope. No physoids at all on the list of ones that we're missing. So we'll keep moving along. We can sell that one. Ooh, we're gonna have to water some of those too. Okay, Kitty's home. Let's see what Kitty's got going on. She was doing some gossiping yesterday. Oh, Sahara's here. Okay, before we talk to Kitty. Hey, and everybody's hanging out up there in the town hall plaza too. What are we after today? Carpets. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. We would have preferred wallpaper this time, but that's okay. We can do carpets. Didn't Sunny have like two old carpets in her storage when we cleaned it out yesterday? We'll have to go grab those. Maybe we can get enough to do two trades today. Um, 5 p.m. half off sale. That's okay. We didn't want half off because we need the uh, points from full price. <laughs> Tomorrow's the bug off. Okay, that's exciting. Let's see. Melba, should it go there? Or maybe I should get rid of that other piece and put it... You went to so much trouble to get me this that I want to find the perfect spot for it. Oh, okay. What did, what did we... Wait, what did we give her yesterday? I don't remember now. Oh, it was the coin. <laughs> the little Mario coin from the balloon. Frobert, what are you doing? Okay, at least everybody's happy today. Uh, yo, surf's up. Oh. He picked that up from Melba. What's the haps, lamb? He picked that up from Melba too. Got an old carpet? Old carpets? Yeah, I got some. I've been using them as artificial turf. So that lady with the huge eyelashes is Sahara? All this time I've been calling her eyelash lady. That old carpet is crazy dusty, so don't unroll it. Okay, had no plans to. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> All right, um, actually, did we, um, did we ask Melba for a carpet? Where did she go? Melba, <laughs> where did she, she was just right here. Wait, we gotta get back to our balloon. Okay, um, Melba, <laughs> she couldn't have got far. <laughs> it's not, um, she's just little, there she is. She's checking out the new picnic spot. What can I do for you, lamb? You got an old carpet? Are you taking it over to Sahara for trade? No, go right ahead. I don't need new flooring just yet, so you're welcome to my old one. Yay, thanks, Melba. Super cool, we already got two, so that's a good start. Let's check in with Kitty and see if she gets mad at us for asking, or assuming that she has anything that's out of date or out of style. <laughs> All right, Kitty. Still got your dinosaur skull, I see. Need something big, sis? What's that? Old carpets, darling? The nerve. Are you suggesting that my style is out of date? Not at all. <laughs> I would never. All right, see ya, kitty. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Check in with everyone else then. All right, we already asked Frobert, so we'll make our way around. Oops. Oh, look, our little tree is growing. Hooray! Yay! I'm glad it. I'm glad it's growing there. I was afraid that it might not. Okay, so our apple trees are all in around our new picnic spot too, which looks so cute. I love it. I love it, I love it. We gotta think of some more stuff to put over here. <laughs> Let's see, picnic. I love the little picnic spots. So cute. Now we have one in the top and one in the bottom. All right, we're just looking for a few more fossils maybe. Looking for some villagers, looking for some rugs, old carpets. Oh, Olivia's not home. We'll have to find her. Ooh, a lot of those tulips are wilted. We're definitely gonna have our watering work cut out for us if it doesn't start raining in the next hour. 
which it would be super helpful if it did. <laughs> we'll, we'll give it a chance anyway. All right, let's see. Anything buried on the beach? I feel like I've been finding some dig spots on the beach recently. Let's see. This is too filled in to have any dig spots, isn't it? Oh, uh, Bella's home, but we didn't... We did talk to her, but we didn't ask her for an old carpet yet. So we'll check in with her. I guess uh, we're going to be one short today because Peaches is in boxes. So she's definitely not going to have an old carpet. Oh, big sis, is something like wrong? Got any old carpets? Old carpet, old carpet. Well, I thought about it pretty hard just now, but sorry, I don't have any. <laughs> well, don't hurt yourself. Goodness. <laughs> thinking about it too hard. Old carpet. Not today. All right, well, I guess that means we'll be talking to Butch again, too. Oh, and Punchy. Punchy, you got any old carpet? Oh, there's Olivia, too. I see her. Is something the matter, big sis? Oh, old carpets. I just went and traded mine for a sweet new one. Sorry, but I don't have any more moon eyes. Oh, man. <laughs> Olivia, how about you? You got any old carpets? Hello, lamb. What is it? You want to know if I have any old carpets? I do, I do! Here, please take it away! Yay, thank you, Olivia. And don't tell anyone I gave you that old carpet, okay, starry eyes? If word gets out, that'll be the last hand-me-down you get from me. <laughs> All right, we won't say a word. Not one single word. Oh, you know what? I was hoping we would be able to catch a banded dragonfly today, but I don't know if it's going to come out if it's all gray and rainy. Do they only come out in the sun? I don't know. Hey, big sis, what are you up to, starry eyes? I know we're in the right time of day for it. Doing a little work for Sahara, eh? Well, you came knocking at the right time. I was just about to drag this rug over to her myself. It's all yours. If you take this over to Sahara, she'll kick you a free carpet, as I recall. I just went on a huge rug buying spree for some reason, so that's all yours, sorry eyes. All right, well, cool. Uh, what did you do with those rugs, Butch? Because this is the same floor you've had since you moved in, dude. <laughs> See you later. He's not putting out any new rugs. But you know what? If he wants to buy them and store them, that is his business. Alrighty. Did we check this little corner over here for fossils? No more new blue pansies either. But if we get some rain today, we might get some. That would be nice. Okay, let's see. Who else can we check in with? Um, what, although, we have... Do, do we have four now? Did we get four from our... Yes, we got four. And a lucky clover. We're feeling really lucky today. <laughs> All right, so let's um, check and see if that's what Sunny had in her storage. I can't remember if it was wallpapers or floors that she had, but there were two of them. So if she has two, then we have enough to trade twice with Sahara and get some... Oh yes, it is old flooring. Nice. Okay, cool. Well, I think what we'll probably do is drop these somewhere uh, like up in the up in the plaza and then we'll check with the rest of the villagers and maybe just maybe like who's left broccolo is it just broccolo <laughs> I was trying to figure out if there was enough left to get three more carpets but maybe there's not oh we haven't asked peanut yet and we haven't asked oh no we did ask Frobert hmm I don't know we're gonna drop these um, and, or we'll drop three of them at least. That way we won't have, because I don't know if you have more than three in your pocket when you go to trade, if she'll take them all at the same time, or if she only takes three. So we're not going to risk it. We're, we're going to make sure that we get to trade twice. But let's see if Broccolo's got an old carpet for us. And then we'll go from there, and we'll check with Peanut. And I think that might be everyone because we can't check with Peaches since she's moving out. Do you need something, big sis? You got old carpets? Oh, old carpets. I just went and traded mine for a sweet new one. Sorry, but I don't have any more. All right. Well, that means we only have the option of getting one more. But that's okay. We'll ask Pina anyway because I could come in and play one of the other characters later and uh, see if they can finish out another three if Pina gives us one. And if she doesn't, then we'll just call two good enough for today. Um, that's pretty good, though, that we got enough to even trade two. Oh, Peanut's not home. She was out somewhere. Okay, well, 
Doo -doo. Peanut, <laughs> where did you go? I guess we'll have to look for her. Okay, let's just double check. Let's see, we checked with, oh, we checked with Punchy, we checked with Frobert, Butch, Olivia, Pe Peaches we can't, Peanut, Bella, Melba, Kitty, and Brocklo. Okay, yeah, so Peanut's the last one. All right, that's okay. Well, let's go talk to Sahara. You know, we should probably have our net ready, just in case we see a banded dragonfly, because those things are fast. Oh, wait, do we not have our net out? Oh, I just didn't cycle through enough things. We have so many things in our pocket right now. Well, maybe we should... You know what? Let's plant this lucky clover over here by the new picnic spot. Whoops. <laughs> uh, we usually like to leave a few weeds around anyway. Oh, here's Sahara. We'll go ahead and talk to her. I want old carpets. I give you lovely new ones. Here you go. Oh, you bring carpet. And how many? Three. Mine now. Yes, now I give to you. Here, a lunar surface. Very exotic. Treasure it. It is a very rare thing. You bring me many carpets. More. I will take any old carpets. Recycle anytime. Yeah, we certainly will. All right, let's put the let's put the lucky clover maybe right in front here. We'll just plant that right there. And maybe we'll remember not to pick it. <laughs> That's part of our picnic area now. Um, and we also have a white tulip in our pocket that we need to bring over here somewhere. Oh, there's Peanut. Okay, we'll just go ahead and ask her. Because it doesn't hurt to have an extra one for next time even if we don't get to play in any of the other characters. Ooh, I saw a dragonfly up in the corner. Woohoo, good morning. So are you doing like all fine and dandy and stuff, big sis? You got an old carpet? Oh, rats. I just had some yesterday, but I ended up selling it or giving it away or something. You don't remember? It was just yesterday, Peanut. But I don't have a lot to say because I can't remember half of what I did yesterday either. So, <laughs> but I'll be sure to put some old carpet aside for you on my next big remodel, Moon Eyes. Oh, she's picked up Moon Eyes too. Okay, so I just saw a dragonfly up here. I don't know if it's the one we were looking for. And it's apparently gone on its merry way now. I don't see it. Unless it went across the river on the other side. Punchy, is there a dragonfly over there? <laughs> Let me know. Oh, there it is. There it is. Is that a banded dragonfly? I don't think so. I think it's a darner. We're going to go after it anyway, though. Where'd it go? Is it staying around the water? Is that a thing? Like, should we be staying around the water looking for these dragonflies? I don't know where it went. Did it go back the other way? Oh my goodness. All right, well, we're not going to spend a thousand years looking for it. Let's go grab... Let's go grab those other three old carpets and see what else we can get from Sahara. We got a lunar surface, which is definitely not something that Sunny's going to be using, but uh, somebody might want it at some point, although I'm not sure. Some of her carpets are like so very specifically themed, um, but we like to have them anyway. Hey, look at that. Look at that dig spot. How hard that is to see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I almost missed it. It's another one of our fossils. Yay. All right. That's another chance to find something not terrible for Bella's house. We didn't have too much luck with that with um, Punchy the other day and ended up giving him a skull. But where, where did Sahara go now? Hopefully we'll find something small like a dinosaur egg or a trilobite that we can give to Bella and not have a huge fossil in her house. All right. So we got the three carpets. I want old carpets. I give you lovely new ones. Here you go. Oh, you bring carpet. And how many? Three. Yes. What do you got for us this time, friend? A classroom floor. Very exotic. Treasure it. It is a very rare thing. Okay. Well, I don't think we had that one yet. But I also don't think it's anything, like, awesome. <laughs> Blue skies, it's good to see you, Liam. I had a question to ask you. You know how I just said blue skies a second ago? I feel like we just gave you that, Melba. Well, I think it's time we came up with a greeting that's a little more personal, don't you? Not really. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely agree with you. Who wants to be all cool and have a special way of greeting a special friend, right? We do have a special way, Melba. Don't be like that. 
I'm sorry. I, you guys tapped me out with new phrases and stuff this week. I just, I can't. I have no more. <laughs> it's too many. All right, let's see what's in uh, Abel's today. Maybe there's a natty shirt we can catalog. Still looking for that one. Ooh, there's a Misty shirt and a Nine shirt. Uh, I know we have that hat already because it's in it's in Sunny's storage right now. We didn't get rid of that one. Even though I don't really think it's anything she'll ever wear. Maybe we'll give it to Dubs. It seems more like a Dubs kind of shirt. Shirt? Hat. <laughs> it seems more like a Dubs kind of hat. Okay, so we've got all three of those cataloged. None of those were the Natty shirt. Although I don't think Broccolo wants it anymore. He didn't ask Sunny about it yesterday, so... I guess he he's moved on from that. He doesn't care about it. Alright, so did that take up all our pocket space that we had for fossils? I guess we're gonna need to drop some stuff to get these fossils assessed and see what we can find for Bella. We were just gonna leave them back out here anyway. Wait, there's only two. Oh, we can fit two. Okay, that means there's one around town that we haven't found today, but that's alright. If it's hiding as good as that last one, we may not even see it today. So <laughs> we'll just we'll just find out what's going on with these three, four. Maybe there'll be something good for Bella. Blathers. We need to check a fossil. Actually, we need to check four fossils. Give us some good news, man. If they can't be like a dinosaur egg, T-Rex bits would be nice. Hey, it's a dinosaur egg. Perfect. We'll give that to Bella. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the rest of these assessed while we're right here since we're already talking to Blathers. <laughs> it won't hurt. And then whoever uh, is gonna sell them can just pick them up and go. Oh, some amber. Maybe we'll give her the amber instead. Those are two good choices for a villager house. Uh, Bella has a lot of pink in her house. I don't know. Which one would go better? A dinosaur egg or some amber? <laughs> I'm not really sure. What do you... Um, okay, yeah. That one we're definitely not going to give to her. One more, Blathers. You get to exercise your skills today. And we have... A seismo hip. Okay. Well, we'll drop those outside. And now that now that I said the pink, I think we might go ahead and uh, do the dinosaur egg because <laughs> I think that might go better than the amber. With the pink, I don't know. Probably neither one of them is going to match. Anyway, since we're here, why don't we get a cup of coffee because we haven't done that in a while. The usual, right? You know the price. 200 bells. That'll do fine. We're feeling fancy in our hat today, so we gotta stop and get a cup of coffee. Would you care for a splash of pigeon milk? Yes, please. Coming right up. All right. Thank you very much, Brewster. Oh, I was about to say he's quicker than he is in New Horizons, but then he had to add the pigeon milk, so it wasn't quite as quick. But we got a fun little swirl in our coffee there. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's drink up. Get some fuel for the rest of our day. Sweet and smooth. This can be none other than the world-renowned Pigeon Blend. There you go, Brewster. He doesn't have the cup with his face on it in this game. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, see you later. Haven't found any new gyroids for you yet. Let's get on our way and go talk to Bella again. We gotta, um, I guess we're gonna put these carpets into Sunny's storage. See, this is the thing. It's like, do we keep all the Sahara carpets that we know we're not gonna use? Because at this point, Dubs' house is pretty done and everybody else's house is pretty planned out. So, I mean, nobody's gonna need a lunar surface. <laughs> but maybe we hold on to it for trading or something. I don't really know. I don't know what the best answer is. Um, the best answer is pay attention to where you're going. So we'll put this inside for right now and leave it in sunny storage until we do some organizing and figure out what to do later. I don't know. Um, because 
we could give it to to like Lucky or somebody to store. Um, but at this point, it's like we're planning on switching over to New Leaf at the end of the summer. And I think our plan for that is going to be to pick up all our hybrid flowers and have Lucky store them so that if we don't get to check in to Merkwood every day after that, we don't lose all our nice hybrid flowers. So we want to keep Lucky's um, storage free for that. I think we're going to have to go see Tom Nook, too. Oh, because you know what? I forgot to drop those other fossils for whoever's going to sell them. But we'll drop them over by Nooks. That'll make it easier for the person anyway. And I see our last fossil here. So we'll go ahead and dig that up, too. After we get our pockets emptied. Ooh, giant snake head. Nice. All right, before we do that, we'll run over here to Bella and give her her fossil. That way, whatever she gives us back, if it's something we don't need, we can sell that too when we go to see Tom Nook, and then we won't have to go see him twice. <laughs> Not that we don't like him. It's just, you know. You know. <laughs> All right, Bella, we have fossil. You're going to make us come around the long way here. Oh, big sis, is something like wrong? Fossil, we're going to give you a dinosaur egg. What do you think about that? It's so old. <laughs> Yay, look, 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 it's the dinosaur egg I've been waiting for. Starry eyes, the world like needs more people like you. Take a gold screen wall is my way of saying thanks. Please, starry eyes, I like insist. I'm gonna tell the whole town how great you are. Aw, that's sweet, Bella. A gold screen wall is pretty nice, actually. I wonder, I wonder if Sunny has a place she could use that. It's not really going to go in any of the rooms that she has. You know what? Maybe we could give it to Lucky because um, gold screen wall sounds like something Lucky, right? Maybe she can put it in her upstairs or something. I think she might actually have... Let's go in and look because she might actually have a gold screen wall on one of her walls already. I can't remember what she's got in here. I'll have to look it up too and see if the Sahara walls and floors... Uh, have any bearing on feng shui. Okay, so she's got uh, a pretty <laughs> uh, shabby wall in here, actually. But the wall and floor do seem to match, so maybe that's a thing. I'm not sure if those are uh, Sahara ones. I'll have to check. All right, so she doesn't have a new one upstairs. We'll, yeah, we'll leave this gold screen wall for Lucky. So she can put that in her upstairs, or maybe her downstairs, if... Uh, if we find out that it has some bearing on something. Uh, not sure if any of that stuff affects feng shui or not. Okay, so we're going to drop the gold screen wall. And you know what? Oh no, we were going to drop those outside nooks because it might not be lucky. Okay, I thought that might be a leaf bug. <laughs> we haven't been, I don't know, have we been out this time of day recently? I haven't seen too many of those around. Only a couple that I remember. All right, let's go see Tom Nook now. What are you doing, Tom Nook? We haven't seen too many dragonflies. Maybe we should start scaring away some of these cicadas. You guys are making too much noise anyway. We need a dragonfly to fly through here. <laughs> a big one. A big banded one. All right, get out of here. You talk too much. Okay, let's drop let's drop these fossils. And then Sunny can sell this other stuff. Cause none of those shirts from Abel's were ones that we needed to keep or anything. Browse all you like. We need to sell we'll sell this fish, we'll sell this butterfly. We can sell this gyroid. And then we need to go see Serena because I kind of forgot every, that we bought an axe and we walked by there <laughs> a bunch of times and haven't thrown it in yet. Ooh, Sunny's getting close to 100000 in her pocket again. So we might make a deposit too just to get her pocket uh, amount down a little. Replace a little bit of what we spent at Gracie Grace the other day because <laughs> we did spend a little bit. 
Doo -doo. Let's see, we did find the money rock. Oh, and look at that, Sunny's running. <laughs> as long as we only run on the path though, it's okay. It's okay. All right, let's get our balloon back out. We're gonna put our fishing rod back away and try to organize a little bit here. I don't know what all this stuff she has in her pocket. You know what? I think the sky's looking a little bit bluer and I don't think it's going to rain <laughs> when, the, uh, when the hour changes. First you throw coins and now axes. This is getting out of control. Did you throw a gold axe in here? Just a regular one. Honesty, huh? That's refreshing. Just because you told the truth, I'm gonna give you a special gold axe. If she ever actually did give us a special gold axe when she said this, I think I would fall out of my chair. Just kidding. <laughs> no chance. What is it about me that makes mortals think they can just throw axes at me? I, but I am a goddess, so that means I have to give your axe back and give you a gold one too, right? Wrong. But bye now. <laughs> yep. There goes another axe. It's okay. All right. Yeah, look how blue this guy has gotten. We're definitely not getting rain. It's changing the hour in just a minute. So I guess Sunny's gonna be watering the flowers over here. Might as well get that watering can out and get started. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe we have so much stuff in our pockets. Water the wilted flowers. We'll start right here and then we'll run in and deposit some money. Check the recycle bin and, uh, and then make our rounds with the watering can. Make sure we take care of our flowers today. We can say hi to Pelly when we go in here. Tortimer will be back there taking his nap. <laughs> Snoozing behind the counter. Can we turn the... Oh, we can't turn the view in here. You can see him back there, though. Blowing little bubbles. All right, we're going to deposit... I don't know. We'll just do We'll just do our all sevens so we have a little bit left in our pocket. And we're back up to almost 800,000. Okay, let's see. Uh, Nothing good in there. Hey, Pelly. Bye, Pelly. <laughs> Nothing to mail today. And nothing to save. Okay, so let's check on everything. Oh, do we have another tulip in our pocket that we picked up somewhere? We must have already placed it. Okay. Doo -doo. Um, we did see another... Oh, see, I almost picked that. Almost picked that clover already. <laughs> We're going to have to keep reminding ourselves. It's there on purpose. The lucky clover. You know what would be fun? Maybe we could go get a couple more of those lucky clovers out of our storage and put a couple more around this picnic blanket. This could be our little lucky picnic. <laughs> that could be fun. Okay, I'm patching this little bit in because I kind of forgot about this until after I finished recording, but we did say that we were going to take a couple more of these lucky clovers and put them around our little picnic site. And I want to do that. Whoops. I want to do that before we completely forget about it. Um, and like don't get it done for another three weeks or something. So let's run these up there and get those placed around that right now while we're thinking about it. <laughs> Make our little picnic spot look really cute. Um, so it's a little different from the other one. It'll be nice. Instead of the weeds around this one, we'll have the lucky clovers. And I like that, which means that we can pick this other weed over here too. Where is it? There's a one. Yeah, we're going to pick that and we're just going to have the clovers around this one. So I'm going to put one kind of right in front of this tree, I think. And it's really cool that you can replant these too. And we'll put one in front of this tree. And then we'll have them kind of surrounding our little picnic spot. Little lucky clovers. I think that looks really cute with the tulips behind us. Oh, look. We got a purple tulip spawned back here too. I didn't even notice that before. That's so cool. All right, well, there's a little bit of progress. Now if we can just get a balloon to fly over so we can drop a gift nearby, that would be fun too. All right, any other ideas you have for the uh, picnic area, let me know. We can't set anything on the blanket, but we can set stuff around it. So we'll keep working on that. But um, yeah, back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Um, did we, wait, did we do, we did the ones on this side of 
town hall. Let's just check down here. I'm so glad that tree is growing. I was, I was really thinking that it would not. Uh oh, gotta change my battery. One second. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Took me a little longer than I thought. <laughs> uh, my little cat Joey decided to pick right then to check in to come to my door. She likes to check in with me between her naps during the day. Sigh, I've gotten another present that clashes with my personal taste. Why do people do that to me? What am I supposed to do with a red zap suit? Yeah, I feel that. Would you take this off my hands, Lamb? Sure. Oh, really? Thanks so much, Moon Eyes. Oh, Moon Eyes is going around, isn't it? <laughs> Here it is. Did my neighbor think that kind of gift would make us best buddies? Seriously, why are so many gift givers so thoughtless? I don't know. I don't know, Olivia. Oh, she's got her little parasol out. Ooh, there's a dragonfly. It's not the one we need. But we gotta get in the habit of catching them. If we can. <laughs> Okay, okay, it's just a darner. Let's get back to watering. See if we can get this spot filled in that's missing there. All right, Punchy is having a good old time. Everybody, everybody's happy today. I'm glad to see they're happy today after, after yesterday and everybody was fighting and carrying on. <laughs> it was just cheered up. That's good. Okay, let's see here. Any wilted flowers over here? Gotta check every little corner. Although we do have the flowers kind of congregated here and there now, so it's a little easier to find the ones that are wilted. Uh, might throw water, whoops. Might throw water on a few of these just to see if we can get some more blue ones to spawn. Whoops, <laughs> or you know. We'll just water around them and hope it gets them. <laughs> I really should take my time more and aim that thing. All right. Do, 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 do. Nothing wilted down here. Okay, let's go check the cosmos. Oh, we, we do need to water some of these. Don't want to lose another one of those. Peanuts. Um, and there were some, yeah, some of these here in Sunny's garden. Needed some water. We'll just throw water on some of all of them. We'll just throw water on all of them. If we can water between four, we can probably water between two, too. I'm gonna guess that works. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it does. Okay, let's see. Here's another wilted one. Really, our flowers, they're, they're doing pretty good. We're starting to get a little bit of design to them here and there. I would love to uh, get some more black cosmos to spawn over here, but I guess, you know, if we want those hybrids to spawn, we gotta start watering these even when they're not wilted. That might be part of our problem. Okay, so we'll throw water on a few of those. Let's see what else. Um, the other thing we could do is run up to the city anyway, just to, even though we don't need to go there, just to see if we, um, if it's raining up there, I think we figured this out, that if it's raining in the city when we go, then it counts as rain in town too. It seems like it works that way. So we're going to, we're going to water, but we might just run up to the city and maybe Phineas will be there or something. You know, there could always be something fun. I don't know. We may not do it. <laughs> it just depends on how we, how we're feeling. Ooh, dragonfly. Oh my goodness. We have too much stuff in our pockets. If we ever do see a banded dragonfly, which this is not one, uh, <laughs> by the time we get to our net, it's going to be gone. Okay. Here we go. Water some roses. Oh, make sure we got that one. Do do. And we'll go ahead and water in the center. Oh, see, we watered the center of these yesterday, didn't we? And that one's wilted now. So now I'm wondering, either we didn't aim very good, or this is is not true. <laughs> Which I hope it is. 
I really hope it is. All right, we're gonna try our best to get like right in that center spot. And then because some of these are wilted and we're watering them in that center spot, if any of those roses are gone tomorrow, then we'll know that watering in the center did not work. But I, I feel like it does. I don't know why, um, like I said, we might have just missed our mark when we watered those yesterday. Okay. Oh, we got some wilted ones down here too. And you know what? We saw a coconut on the beach yesterday and I never did go back and pick it up. So we're gonna check and see if that's still there too. Because I remember where it was. Ooh, lots of our purple and black ones wilted here. And we definitely very carefully watered the center of those yesterday. So now I'm scared. I'm watering these individually because I don't want to lose these. We'll, we'll test it on the red and white because we can get those anytime. I'm not taking a chance on these. They're too hard to get. Okay, we'll just water them extra times. <laughs> yeah, but we definitely took our time and we're very careful about watering those in the center uh, yesterday. Hmm. I don't know if we hit this patch already or not, but we're going to do it again. And we're going to check our cosmos around the windmill over here. That one needs some water. This one needs some water. See, I always feel like we should just go ahead and water all of them. <laughs> but I could, I could feel like that about all the flowers and then we'd be here forever watering all the flowers. So that's why we don't usually do it. Okay, I think, I think that we pretty much got everything. Did we check the Mori roses back here? We better double check that. I can't remember if we walked back here or not. I don't think we did. All right, we'll get the purple one. I mean the black one. And the yellow ones, just in case we can get them to spawn. All right, I think that's all for the watering today. <laughs> That's all for the watering. You know what? Maybe we will just run up to the city. We'll see. Did we water that one? We'll see if Phineas is there and maybe, oh, well, or if it's raining because the both won't happen at the same time. And no banded dragonfly for Sunny today, unfortunately. None flew by, but I think they are pretty uncommon. So we'll put the net in her hand just in case. We see one on our way back up to, um, and she'll worry about selling that stuff later. Maybe it'll be fun to walk around with some stuff in our pocket. Oh. Yo, there you are, lamb. I have a killer idea. Wouldn't it be rad if we had something? <laughs> no. If we had something we said to each other every time we talked. You know, something we say to each other to crank up the pumpage. Uh, Melba's standing right here and she asked me for one earlier and I said no. So sorry for over. I have to say no. I thought it was a pretty good idea. Pfft. Am I the only one who knows how to be awesome around here? Clearly you are, but you know, I can't do that to Melba. I just, I can't. Ooh, are you a banded dragonfly? You're not, <laughs> but it'll be good practice for us. There we go. Another darner, okay. I know those banded dragonflies are gonna be a lot faster than that. We might have to run a little bit, as long as it's not through some flowers. All right, <laughs> let's head up to the city. See if we can find either Phineas or some rain. Either one that would do. And if not, maybe we'll find somebody cute to talk to. That's always fun too. I don't know if talking to the villagers in the city encourages them to move in because we do have peaches moving out. No rain and no Phineas. Too bad. I see Gabby up there. Oh, I see Caroline up there. <laughs> and is that Tipper? We'll talk to her too. She's cute. She's cute. I sometimes see the balloon man around here, but it looks like he's gone right now. Yeah, we were hoping for that too. What are you doing, Caroline? Summer means sales, and I mean to get myself a new wardrobe. Gracie's clothes are so expensive, I can't even afford to look at them unless they're on sale. Yeah. We know, we spend all our money on that. <laughs> Eek, I like have to get my fortune told. I wonder if I have enough money. Surely, oh my goodness. They're always up here looking to reveal something about their love. <laughs> I can't wait, honey bun. Oh, that's a cute catchphrase. Who's this? 
Elmer! I guess the prize guy isn't around now. And I was all excited about getting a balloon from him too. Or a pinwheel. Or even some bubbles. Yes, I hear from Kara that the bubbles are very fun. Whoa, it's already 12? I blew way too much time at Gracie Grace. Today's menu, scarf lunch, do some quick stretches to prevent shopper's cramp, then back to shopping. <laughs> All right, well, guys, it's been a fun day. I think we're going to go ahead and say goodbye here from the city. We can't look up, <laughs> so we'll get the blue sky behind us there by coming down here. Thank you so much for joining me and Sunny for another fun day around Mirkwood. I appreciate you so much for being here. Please take a moment, if you would, and click that like button for me. And if you're enjoying this nostalgic Animal Crossing series, why not click subscribe as well and turn on those notifications so you can be sure to join us for the next one. I will see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day.